So the purpose of the hack is that the guys get more balance on the horses. We pass people on the bicycles, we pass cars, we pass wild animals in the forest. So they've got to use their brain and think about it. You know, the kids might run across the street. They need to kind of be prepared. The horse might spook or jump sideways. And it's a pleasure. Worse ways to spend a day than going you know, on a beautiful trip in the countryside. Just think about these guys taking hours on end journeys, and you just go, you know, you do that an hour and you're feeling it. And it was just a, a beautiful, beautiful ride. It, it looks a bit like Alaska at certain points. Blown away. Blown away. It's, it's physically demanding, but it's uh, quite rewarding. And every now and then you'll hit a sweet spot. And you're like, yeah, this is it. Especially with trotting. You kind of like you got to kind of slow down, get right, and then and then speed back up again. About halfway through that, I really, yeah, just became very aware of my thighs. I'm gonna really feel it tomorrow. I'm sure. I mean, I'm feeling it already, but uh, yeah, it's a bit stretching. <laughs> Yeah, my first real, my first real yoga, I call it. Um, it just my like doctor ordered. <laughs> it's also the most peaceful like activity that we've done as yeah. well. It was quite yeah. nice to just yeah. sort of, even though we were stretching and, and there was, you know, well, not necessarily pain but heat. It was a, uh, it was, it was actually really peaceful. Mm. It was nice. With the basics that we've got in hand, I think we're going to be able to use that to choreograph a good sword fight and choreograph a good fist fight. And you know, the, with with what we've learned, I'm you know I'm feeling very confident going forward. The important thing is to know you know it's going to be six months and to pace yourself because uh, you want to have the same level of energy and of commitment all the way through. I will only have fond memories of this week. I don't know that I'd have called it boot camp. I mean, when you hear boot camp, you'd think of kind of having to crawl your way through a stream and a tunnel lined with bits of broken glass and all that kind of first week in the army stuff. And it's absolutely not been that. I guess in a word, what's been good about the boot camp is everything. I think without the boot camp, we would be missing something. I don't think I realised before we began how necessary it was. It's going to contribute hugely to making this story a very effective one and a very entertaining one, no doubt.